a while to clear the field of the debris and of the bats. They're picking up the bats now, trying to straighten the field. You hate to see the fans get involved like this. I mean, Andre Dawson obviously as upset as we've ever seen him, and he's been here five years now. So we don't know what went on around home plate, but that was a most uncharacteristic display by Andre Dawson. Something must have been said. We don't know what. But we'd like to see the game start underway, and we'd like to see the fans completely out of this. Now listen, uh, Joe West is asking the Reds to leave the field. I guess maybe as a form of security. Look at you. Look at the ground crew going to work on the in the bleacher area. The bats have been picked up. Now I, I sure hope the fans desist in throwing anything else on the field because there's a possibility now of a forfeit. We're going to show you that from the very inception of all this, Dawson is called out on strikes on this pitch. You'll see it in a moment. The paper cups are being swept off the field. Eric Gregg is talk, talking with Joe West. They haven't gotten to right field yet. They've pretty much cleaned up left field, and let's hope that that's about it for the fans' involvement in this one. And this is what happened. Pitch looks well now low and outside. Now. Watch it now. Now let's see what caused him to get angry. They're still talking right now about the location of the pitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. George Bell did his best to get in between them. That is so uncharacteristic of Andre Dawson. and also get the boot. So the Cubs lose their right fielder and their manager in the same call. All look low and outside. I don't know what was said around home plate, but Andre Dawson reacted. And after that, the bats start to fly. Now look at Big Eric uh, Greg. Let's see if he can. He's still trying to hold Dawson back, but Essen figures he might as well get his money's worth. He'll probably be fine also. He's not through yet, folks, in case you missed it the first time. a pitch that uh, Joe West has been calling all night long on everybody and apparently that's his blind spot 
Watch it. Here's the pitch. And that went was, around the plate at the uh, and that's probably why he called it a strike. It was also right, right at the ankles. Well, to this point, we've had an eight-minute bat delay. I'm sure. I'm sure you can lip read. And uh, now we're off the replay. The uh, field is uh, cleared. We're ready to resume action. The Cubs still lead <laughs> five to two with two out in the bottom of the seventh. Joe West, Eric Gregg, the third base umpire, Tom Henyon, the second base umpire, and Mike Winters is at first base. Now here's Lou Pinella coming out, and Lou Pinella has been known to lose his temper also. So well, let's see what's going to happen. He wants a little warm up time for his pitcher, Norm Charlton. Well, there's no doubt after a delay like this, he's going to get as much time as he wants. And the ground crew did a pretty good job. The field is spotless once again. They're coming off. Fans are giving them a pretty good hand. They did a nice job cleaning everything up. And now Charlton comes out to the mound. He'll warm up with Jeff Reed. In other games, sports. This change to the Reds, the new shortstop is Freddie Benavides. Here's the next head attendance. Baltimore. Trailing California 5 4 in the ninth. Oakland is leading. Now they're tied at Cleveland 6 6 in the ninth. Detroit beat Minnesota 6 3. The White Sox lead Toronto 2 0 in the eighth. Kansas City out in front of Milwaukee 4 1 in the sixth. Texas leading Boston 5 3 at the end of five with uh, Nolan Ryan starting. Pittsburgh is murdering Atlanta 10 to 3 at the end of eight. St. Louis leads Houston 5 1 in the bottom of the seventh. Montreal at San Diego, Philadelphia at Los Angeles, New York and San Francisco. All getting ready to start shortly. Les Lancaster is down to the bullpen. Out on that pitch that looks low and outside. And that's what the Hawk says. Not even close. He and Joe West go at it. He gets tossed from the game, but before he leaves for the clubhouse, Andre Dawson does some redecorating of Wrigley Field. Tossing bats onto the field, and that would incite the fans. The fans get into it as well as the Hawk throws the bats out. Down comes the beer, their favorite beverage in the cup with it. About a 15 minute delay. Back to you. Okay. Look, the that's the wrong tape, fellas. Here it is. Joe West called him out. Joe may have not been having one of his better nights behind the plate. Some other players were arguing too. Andre and Joe into it a little bit after the call third strike. You know they don't take much those home plate umpires and a little bump by Andre after the ejection too. That's going to cost him certainly a fine and maybe a suspension too. He was still hot. Then Jim Essien came out. He proceeded to get tossed out of the game. But the show was only beginning in the dugout. Andre still yelling at Joe West and he spies that bat Whoa, rack and here they come. I'll tell you, bat tossing were an Olympic event. Andre Dawson be number one in the country at it. There they come again. Hey, third time's a charm, right? Joe West uh, seemingly amused at all that. Hey, one more time for good measure. So three times the bats come out. 
before Andre Dawson went into the locker room. And then when the bats came out, so did the paper cups and the beer and the pop and everything else out of the bleachers. Took a while to get the field cleared off and the game resumed. Uh, but when it did, some more action. Check this out. Squeeze bunt. Wilkins scores. Rob Dibble threw the ball right at Doug DeCenzo's legs in frustration. Dibble's not screwed on tight anyway. He was immediately ejected by Joe West, so he's tossed out of the game too. I talked to West after the game. West seemed to be more perturbed about the Dibble incident than he did the Dawson or Essien thing. But uh, that's what happened out here tonight. Three guys ejected. Andre Dawson and Jim Essien on the Cubs side and then Reds relief pitcher Rob Dibble. I was in the Cubs clubhouse after the game was over, talked to Andre Dawson about it. He'd cooled down considerably and actually had a smile on his face when he talked about what happened out here tonight. We were going back and forth. Um, I'm not going to repeat any of it, uh, obviously. But uh, I just didn't think that uh, he showed professionalism. I think, uh, you know, he uh, gave the signal for me to leave the ball game a little bit prematurely. Hunter, is that the most upset you've ever been in during the course of a baseball game? Probably the Eric Shaw incident. <laughs> that stayed with me a little bit longer, but no, uh, you know, it, I laugh at it now. Uh, we won the ball game, so that's what's important. What yeah. do you think the follow-up's going to be? I don't know. I'm not even <laughs> concerned about it. Uh, I know I'll be fine for uh, fine, you know, being tossed out of the game. And, uh, the incident with the bats uh, just you know, lost it a little bit. I was still a little bit perturbed because uh, he got that little smirk on his face and, you know, uh, I didn't show him up in any way. And I just felt that, uh, you know, he uh, could have bared down a little bit more than the circumstances. And when you run somebody out of the game and you smile at him, smile at him, you know, uh, that can set him off real easy. That's